Hey guys, James here back with another video. So today I've got an unboxing and quick look at this Gear VR. So this is uh, pretty much Samsung's version of a virtual reality headset and it works with, um, compatible with the Note 5, let's get a good, good close up, Note 5, S6 Edge Plus, S6, S6 Edge, and of course, um, the new S7s. Uh, so, um, pretty much the history behind this product is my good buddy Kelvin. Um, he recently just got an S7 Edge, and so, um, as you would have uh, seen in the recent unboxing, not recent, a few weeks ago, a few months ago actually, um, I did that, and yeah, this came with it for free, Samsung's doing a deal, and so, yeah, that's the whole history behind this, and yeah, he gave it to me to test out. Now, this is powered by Oculus, so all of you know, uh, would have heard of Oculus Rift, and that's the technology which uh, kind of powers the whole virtual reality scene. Um, so some of the things that you can get, um, there's like a cinematic uh, kind of view, there's like gaming and just kind of movies and stuff like that. Um, so the main reason that I wanted to try it is because will it work with my Note 4? So this is my Note 4 and this is the Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge. And so the, the question I had is, will it work? So let's just quickly get into it. I've actually already unboxed this before um, and my friend Kelvin has already also used it before. But this is pretty much how it came. So there's nothing else in the box. Put that aside. Um, I'll put it here. And pretty much this is what it comes, this is how it comes. So there's the headset itself and there's, um, there's this kind of user manual. So it kind of shows you kind of what to do. And then there's also two straps. So this is how you set it up. So there's this kind of front cover thing with this plastic on it, it has the Samsung logo. So let's just take this off. Um, so your phone would go inside here, um, but let's just put the straps on first. So there's a small strap and a big strap. So the big strap goes um, on the outside. So basically straps go in this so in the headset itself, there are these three kind of anchoring points. You want to put your strap through there. So I'll do that now. And then of course you can adjust this um, to whatever size you wish. Okay, so it's pretty much like this and then your head will sit um, in that space. So looking at the thing itself, Gear VR powered by Oculus Rift on the side. This is a touch control panel. So this is kind of your select button. This is, you can do touch. So you do this to like move forward, move back, up and down. There's a physical back button. There's volume up and down, which is good as well. And there's a space for your headphone jack. So, um, and of course there's two lenses. And of course, when you look through, um, there's also an ambient sensor, so when it knows that when you put it on, it will activate the program, um, or yeah, it will basically turn off the display when you're not act when your head isn't in there. You have a focus plane, so for example, um, you can see uh, here if I move this, you can see uh, the thing recess, and you can see it actually come out as well. So that basically adjusts the focus uh, for different eyesight. So the way I would it would work is here you can see it's got a micro USB connector. You plug it in, this is the S7 Edge, and you pretty much connect it like that, and boom, that's it, that's done. But yeah, it is basically on, and then you adjust so you can do some stuff. Now, um, having used this with the S6 uh, for a while, it is pretty fun. It's actually pretty cool. One of the things which um, I really like um, uh, particularly is there's a there's an app so basically there's like an app store where you can buy and that's all done in the VR but you can also do it outside the VR as well um, but something which I like is there's this uh, kind of virtual cinema so if you have like a video it can also be 3D videos as well but if you have a video that you want to play you can basically play that video as if you were in the cinema which is really nice it's pretty cool and then you can do it like you're on the moon you can do it like you're on the 
and like in a home theater kind of setting. And there's many different ways that you can actually view the movie, which is really, really sweet. It actually feels like you're in the cinema. It's, it's a pretty awesome experience. There's also like games, like there's like a fishing game that you can get free. You can like browse YouTube videos and stuff, but there is no YouTube native app, which was a little bit disappointing because I was expecting at least a YouTube native app that you can use to get 360 videos. Cause a lot of videos, um, on, a lot, there are a lot of 360 videos on YouTube. And so it's a bit disappointing that there wasn't a, a built-in app for YouTube. So Samsung, please do that. Now the question which I was uh, dying to get answered was, does this work with my Note 4? So let's try it. Um, so plugging that in, um, it detects the device. Um, it wants to download the Oculus Rift device stuff but unfortunately it does not fit. That's the maximum it will go without me kind of breaking it. So the reason is because you can see here it's getting snagged. And so this does not, does not work with a Note 4, which is a bit disappointing uh, to say the least. I mean, I really was quite excited to get it, to, to, to get this to work, but it's just not working. Now there's kind of a few people who's done tutorials on how to like shave the sides off uh, here to like get it to, to fit. Um, and you can do that, but obviously you're gonna avoid warranty, you're gonna wreck it, and it's not gonna fit well with like an S6 or an S7 or the Note 5. So it's a bit disappointing um, how they don't have it compatible. And it's pretty much the same uh, firmware, I reckon. Um, but to answer the question, does it work with the Note 4? No, it doesn't. There is a separate Gear VR, and I'm pretty sure the Gear VR launched with um, the Note 4, but this is a new generation, and unfortunately, they don't support it. Now, I don't know why they wouldn't want to support it. Um, it's pretty obvious to me to support it, um, but whatever Samsung's reasoning behind that, I guess I, I will never know. Um, but yeah, that's the whole history behind this Gear VR. Um, I think it's a great experience, even if you don't buy it. Maybe it's just, I wouldn't, I wouldn't buy it personally myself. I mean, the Gear VR itself is about 200 to $200, 150 around there to $200. I wouldn't ever buy it. Um, if it came for free, then of course I'll, I'll take it. But it's a nice experience to just experience once, um, kind of a, like a gimmick. Um, kind of like even like the edge itself. I mean, the edge is, is nice, but, and it's nice to experience, but it's kind of useless after that. There's no real use to the edge itself, um, but it's a nice thing to have. Um, so it's kind of like one of those. So, um, oh, and you can see it's quite flimsy as well. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. I mean, would I buy it? No. Is it fun? Definitely yes. Go try it out for yourself. It's definitely an experience that you wanna experience. Um, that's quite redundant. Um, but yeah, definitely try this out. Have some fun with it, but would I buy it? Definitely no. Um, but it is nice and fun to have um, and fun to, to play with. Um, so yeah, that's it for this video. Uh, like it, hope you liked it. Like it if you did. Dislike if you disliked it. Leave a comment below if you have any questions or any comments about this VR or anything at all. And I'll try to get around to answering those for you as soon as I can. Um, subscribe to see more videos like this in the future and I will see you guys in the next one.